Hello, in this video we will set up a communication between our board and terminal on our computer using UART. So let's go and create our new project. Uh, Harmony project, OK. I'll click OK here. Now I'm going to change the path. There we go. And I'm going to call this folder UART. OK, I'm going to save the name as it is. Next and in here select our pick and it should be finished okay right let's launch the harmony okay now that we have the harmony configurator let's go to our peripherals and to set up the uart communication we need to use a sercom interface we go here and we will use the sercom one because that is already on the board uh, emulates the com port so that's easier for us okay let's expand all the options we're gonna use this circum one as a usart with internal clock and all those uh, settings should be correct now let's just uh, confirm the receive and transmit pinout okay this is a document for our nano board let's uh, just uh, scroll down so there is a section describing the pinouts on this board um, this one let's zoom in and in here we can see that the PA00 pad 0 is used for a circum 1 transmit pin and a circum 1 pad 1 is the receiving pin the PA01 and that's how we're gonna set up our uh, board in the harmony configurator so let's go there let's go to MHC tools and a pin configuration in settings okay now we have our PA00 as we said this is going to be a transmit pin so I'm gonna go to circum 1 P pad 0 okay and PA01 is our receiving pin circum 1 pad 1 okay we leave it this as it is now in here we need to receive pin out again receiving is PA01 so we need to change it to pad 1 okay and now the transmit pin is a pad 0 so pad 0 in here and transmit and this one is correct okay so now the setup for this um, UART is uh, complete for this USART let's while we're here com configure a few more pins what we will need for this exercise is also a pin for the LED and the switch so now we remember from the previous ones we've got the switch on the PA22 so let's go to the PA22 and configure it as a GPIO and I'm gonna just give it the name SW for switch this is gonna be our out uh, input sorry yes and initially it's gonna be high okay now the PA23 is going to be our LED, so the onboard LED, so I'm going to call it Y LED, yellow LED. And this is going to be our output. Initial state is going to be high to turn on this LED. As per the instructions, we need to drive the pin lower. Okay, so that's the setups for the pin. Let's go back to the project uh, for a moment. And the last thing that we're going to do in here is we're going to set up the timer as well. So let's take the timer zero okay and in here again i'm going to expand it but initially what we're going to do is what we'll set it we'll set it up as a previous exercise to generate one millisecond delay no um, interrupt so i'm going to give leave it as it is at the moment 16 bit timer okay happy with that now let's generate the code to use it in our project Okay, once the project is uh, created, I'm just going to go quickly to the properties in here and uh, configure it before we program. I'm going to use our board and we have our compiler. So I'm going to apply this and click OK. Now let's go to the project files. Uh, let's go to the source file, main C. Okay, so now in here, the first thing uh, what we need to do is Let's have a look how to set up this serial communication through the CERCOM. We configured it as a USART 
and we want to communicate with our terminal so let me minimize that for a moment I'm going to use a Terra term as a terminal on my PC uh, let's serial communication and select the curiosity virtual com port and at the same time I'm going to set up the serial port to 115 200 yep everything else is okay so I'm going to set new settings all oh, right let's go back to the MP lab maybe let's um, actually we can leave it like that okay so how can we start the communicating with our terminal on the PC is let's go to uh, the header files configuration um, default peripherals there we go so we're going to the sercom usart now the library for sercom1 as we scroll down in here what we see is the function to send file okay so we're going to copy this one let's copy it and to our main uh, I'm not gonna copy it into the while loop yet I'm just gonna paste it in here so what is this function doing is uh, is gonna send the string to the um, our terminal by using the buffer so let's uh, configure let's uh, describe our buffer so what we're gonna do we're gonna um, create unsigned integer of 8 bits yep, underscore T. and I'm gonna call it uh, let's call it circom1 because that's what we use in circom1 buffer okay the name doesn't matter you can call it whatever you like and let's quickly give it some oops let's quickly give it some um, figure there let's say 100 okay so initially what I'm gonna say that this buffer is gonna contain the uh, there we go it's gonna contain let's say a string of let's be original and say hello everyone obviously everyone okay there we go a few exclamation marks that's nice now in this circon function we still need to configure a few things so in here what we need to do is we need to configure our buffer that we're gonna set that we're, we're, we're gonna use so what we say in, in here yes use our uh, our buffer which is best thing is to copy the name so we're not gonna um, make any mistakes here okay there and then paste it in here there we go nothing in there now uh, in here what we need to do is we need to configure this as a size of our buffer as well so we say in the size of and then I'm gonna open brackets paste it in here okay size of the buffer lovely that's there now oops let's close this semicolon great so now we're ready what we're expecting the this program to do is display on the terminal hello everyone once we click program it so I'll bring maybe this a little bit closer like that and the terminal here I can make it a bit smaller doesn't matter okay let's let's program let's have a look okay it's going connecting and just now we should see there we go so we've got our function there uh, our um, information here but in here we have already um, said what the buffer contains which is hello everyone we when we need we need some flexibility with this one to send whichever string we want at a certain time so to do that let's uh, delete the information from this buffer let's leave it as it is at the moment like that so what we will do is we will use the function which is um, going to be as print and then F so I'm gonna um, create a, uh, a program 
gonna see you in a second and we're gonna talk through it okay so uh, I've got a program here uh, written so it's very simple program let's start from the top what I've added here is uh, SDIO uh, I've included that to allow me to use the function as printf I've declared um, our function for creating the delay using the timer 0 as per our previous video so now in this uh, section what is happening in our while loop or forever loop if the switch is uh, pressed then we got the debouncing now we use the delay to debounce the switch read it and toggle the LED change the state from on to off repeatedly once we press the button then I'm using the sprint function to send this string to the buffer yellow LED toggled uh, return the carriage start on a new line and then circle one function right is gonna send it to the terminal immediately so now we've got our board and um, we've got our terminal in here let's write this to the board and um, test the program okay let's bring the uh, terminal in here or in here where it's uh, programming uh, erasing and then we got programming complete nothing on the terminal as expected because is the function the uh, program is waiting for our input which is pressing the switch so i'm going here and then once I press the switch the LED toggles as expected and then yellow LED toggled information is printed on the screen more I press the information has been sent straight away okay so this is the um, idea of how you can use the buffer and how you can use the circom as a usart help us in display the information on our terminal whichever terminal you're using on your PC okay so I hope this video is useful for you guys if you've got any questions please leave it in the comments this is it for today and thank you very much for watching again and see you next time bye bye